If you want to see the easiest tutorial to do your eyebrows, stay tuned because gals, I have got it for you. This is going to be something that you're so surprised about. Let's get into it. My good friend Sherry from Graceful Beauty, she actually did this tutorial like a year or two ago and I watched it and I was like, I couldn't do it because my hands were shaking so bad. Well, news update for all of you i have found a medication that has helped with my hand tremors it doesn't take it completely away but i don't know if any of you've noticed how good my hands are doing lately i'm just enthralled with that so i'm not going to show you very much about what i have on i have a really cute top on today with a ruffled sleeve it's just kind of a heavier knit it's so cute and then i'm wearing some lifetime jewelry right here which is a herringbone necklace and then a heart rhinestone necklace that is just adorable with my bracelet this is a lifetime jewelry bracelet as well love this this is, has a bunch of roses and leaves on it so pretty lifetime jewelry company is one of those that you can put in your warranty with them or register your piece with them and then if anything happens to it throughout your lifetime they will replace it or make it right i love that and then my earrings are a double layer earring that the jacket or the back of the earring has its own circle on the chain back here it just makes for such a cute interesting detail and i absolutely love that so let's get into this tutorial because i want this to be really quick and really easy for you so that you are just blown away by how easy this is going to be so i'm going to get pretty close you can see i've done this eyebrow i am so proud of my eyebrows all of a sudden eyebrows are one of those things that i could never master because of my hands so i just kind of did whatever i could to just slide by now i'm able to do this this particular trick saves me probably 10 minutes because i was taking so long to do my eyebrows so just take a spoolie to start out with you will need to groom your eyebrows you might think about going in and having a professional just tweeze your eyebrows once for you or wax them in a good shape once for you i had done that a long time ago and it just seemed to help now that i'm through menopause it seems like the eyebrows are almost non-existent but that's okay we live with it that's why we have cool tutorials like this one i want you to use some sort of a micro brow pencil this one is the one from tarte that's double ended i'll make sure that i link it below for you along with the color but normally i use like nyx you can use la girl essence you can use anything you want you don't have to stick with any of these products i use this one's just a really nice creamy one that's really easy for me to blend out and it has the gel on the other end so that's kind of why i use it now i'm going to try and get as close as possible this so is just basically connect the dots that's what we're doing so we're going to start out and first of all i want you to find the very tail of your eyebrow and what i do with this is because the tail of my eyebrow comes down and you can see right here i have a wrinkle right there and that kind of folds up so it even makes my eyebrow look a little bit more downturned and you don't want that you want your eyebrow to look lifted right so i'm going to find the tail of my eyebrow and i'm going to come out just a little bit further and fudge it and i'm going to put one dot right there so i came out a little bit further and a little bit higher now i'm going to find the arch of my eyebrow the highest point of my eyebrow and i'm going to put another dot, dot there too you can take your eyebrow pencil and you can put it by your nose and then go to the outside of your pupil or about the middle outside of your pupil and then you can find where the highest point of your eyebrow is so i'm going to take and i'm going to make a dot right there too so this is probably the highest point and i'm going to go as far above it with the hair as i possibly can so that's the highest hair at the highest point of my eyebrow that's probably a little bit too much but i want you guys to be able to see it and then i'm going to go right below that and i'm going to make another dot right there maybe i'm going to make another dot right there in the eyebrow i don't want it to come too much below the hair because again that will pull my eyebrow down anytime you pull the eyebrow down you're pulling the eye look down now i'm going to come in here into the inside and again you can you know use this as a template if you want to side of the nose right up to the inner part of the eye that's where the eyebrow should be and i'm going to go higher again than my hair is and i'm going to try and match this one a little bit because this one has a little bit more hair up here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to see my hand shake still a little bit <laughs> and just right there i'm going to make a dot and then right below it i did raise my eyebrows just then 
right below it, I'm going to make another dot without pulling anything down below the hair. I did make that dot on the inner two a little bit darker than I would normally do if I was just doing it quickly myself. And so I'm going to take my little spoolie and I'm going to soften that dot because if you have your eyebrows too dark inside, you're going to look angry and like your eyebrows are pulled together. And that is not what we want. So now all you're going to do is you're going to connect the dots. You're going to connect this dot to the bottom dot on the arch crisscross. Here we go. You can make little motions like I am, or you can just draw a straight line if you don't have a shaky hand like I do. And then on the bottom, you're going to take that one and you're going to connect it to the upper one. Okay. And yes, I'm kind of making a little bit of a mess here because my hand is shaking some. Okay, now we're going to take this dot that is the high arch right there, and we're going to connect it to that outside dot. And we're going to come down. Try to miss that little wrinkle right there. And I connect that dot right there. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to grab this dot right here. And I'm going to connect to that outside dot once again. Okay. Looks crazy, right? Now all you do is just fill everything in. When you're filling in the gap that goes from this dot on the top to this dot on the top, top, you're going to fake hair in there. And that is because I don't have hair there. I don't know about you guys, but I don't have hair there. Anyway, this hair over here, there is quite a bit of hair, so I can just go ahead and fill that in as well. And then this hair right here, I can fill in too and push what natural hair I do have up a little bit. Now, like I said before, you're not going to want that to be very dark because if you do, you're going to look angry. But I actually don't like mine to be a straight line. So I'll go in here and I will kind of, my hand does most of the work because it shakes. I'll kind of just, you know, push it around, make those little strokes. And I want it to fill in so that it looks semi-natural. So I'm going to bring my eyebrow in a little bit of an arch up here, a little bit of a rounded instead of such a straight, straight line. Otherwise, to me, it looks like they've definitely been drawn in. They don't look natural at all. So I do a little bit of a rounding, whereas you might like a little bit straighter. It's totally up to you. So then you go back and you grab your spoolie. And what you're going to do is you're going to really work all of those little dots that you had. You're going to work those in so that you have more of a natural looking brow instead of something that is just drawn in. Now, I like mine to be a little bit fuller. You can do them as thin or as thick as you want to. It's totally up to you. And you can see right there how that, that outside part kind of went into my wrinkle out there. And so I'm just going to darken this up a little bit more down below and then a little bit more right in here, leaving the inside just a little bit lighter so that it doesn't look so stark. And then if you look at them straight on, you can tell that I didn't get them perfect. I never get my eyebrows perfect. And right now there's a big gap. I can see it right here. But what you have to continue to do is just look at the two of them. I have a mirror right here, so excuse me while I'm looking down. You have to just continue to look at the two of them and decide what you want to do. Now I think that the arch on the other side, this side, is much higher than this side today. Um, sometimes I get carried away. I know you know what I'm talking about, girls. It just happens. Some days they're sisters, some days they're distant relatives that don't even know they exist. So you have to just work with what you have. All right, so once you get it all, you know, filled in the way that you want to as far as the pencil, then you can take a gel. You can either take your gel that is a clear gel or you can take, you know, this kind of thing. And this is the spoolie. I have to use a tiny spoolie like that because if I don't, I'm going to regret it. It's going to really clump up and you saw how my hands shake. And so it's going to be a little bit more of a mess there. So I'm just going to take what hair I do have and I'm going to push it straight up so that all of the hair looks like it's going into kind of that faux eyebrow that I made on the top. It's going to fill in so nicely and this whole look is just going to come together instantly with how beautiful that eyebrow looks. And you can look at them straight on. They're not exactly a hundred percent, but boy, this is such an improvement from what I used to do, which was practically nothing. But I love doing my brows now because this is so very easy. I hope that you give it a try. And if you do, I hope that you give us a comment down below and let me know what you think of this tutorial. I am enthralled 
at how my eyebrows look now as compared to how they have for years and years. So thank you so much for being with me today. And please let us know if you have a specific technique yourself that you follow. We would love to hear that from you. Everyone, please take care of yourself. Stay happy, stay healthy. Come back and see me really soon in my next video. I love you so much. Bye-bye, my friends. <laughs>